Hello everyone, welcome to Illustrator. In this lecture, we are going to see how eTabs is combining the response spectrum load case with other uh, load cases, right? Dead like uh, dead load, live load cases, and uh, providing us the you can say critical load combination for the design purpose. Okay, so uh, for that, what we will do, we will take one frame here. Uh, from the model suppose we will take the bottom frame here okay uh, i will take one frame and i will click on show selected objects only we'll go to this elevation one for better understanding okay i have taken this particular frame so we all know that the response spectrum analysis when we do response spectrum combines the I can say responses of different mode shapes uh, or different modes and provide us a absolute result because the method we are choosing like the CQC, SSS or the, whatever method we choose ultimately we are getting an absolute value. So the same thing will be uh, done in the software also because uh, uh, the same method is being followed and if you see here if i just go to the response spectrum case here uh, and if i go to the moment so you can see all the results are in positive uh, you can say value are the positive values but basically when it is a uh, you can say lateral force we we in practical we will not get a result like this so if i just show you the uh, you can say deformed shape for this particular case suppose response spectrum x apply you can see it is deflecting the same way or the similar way that we will be getting for the static case if you go to eqx you can say eq plus x so it is the similar way it is deflecting right if i, if I just talk about one particular uh, portal or one particular floor okay so but why we are not getting the bending moment uh, similar to the uh, EQX. So if I go to the EQX and if I go to the uh, bending moment diagram, you can see obviously here it will be sagging, here it will be hugging. So this is what we expect and we have seen the deformed shape also. Right, we have seen the deformed shape also for the, uh, you can say both the load cases. But uh, EQ in EQ plus X, that means uh, in case of the static earthquake uh, load, it is showing very well but in case of response spectrum x as uh, the combination method is ultimately giving us the absolute value so we are not getting the expected bending moment which is uh, sagging hogging uh, in, in this particular side where the load is coming suppose from this side so here it will be sagging and here it will be hogging so this is what the reflected shape we have seen but the uh, you can say moment diagram is different because of the uh, you can say limitation we have in the response spectrum method now uh, when designing the members suppose we are combining this particular case with a dead load here and you can see here we have hogging moment which is negative moment and we have sagging moment which is positive moment but in case of uh, you can say response spectra we are only getting a you can say bending moment like this but in a real case or in actual case we, we we will be getting a bending moment or due to the i guess a uh, bending shape if you see we we should get a bending moment like this so if you see suppose load is from this direction so if you see this end in real case if i add response spectra plus my dead load we must get a critical case here but as the response vector is giving us only positive value so what will happen this is a positive value this is a negative value so ultimately we are going to deduct these two from each other and ultimately we are going to a very less uh, bending moment at the end okay so what is the solution so uh, to resolve this particular problem etabs is actually doing a very good thing if you see so i'll just go to this combo and i will choose the suppose 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 response spectrum x so here whenever i'm choosing a combo with response spectrum load case in it you can see an option to show maximum and minimum together maximum or minimum uh, individually these three options are coming actually so why we are getting this maximum minimum option here 
So let us understand this first. So in this 1.5 dead load, uh, uh, 1.5 response spectrum X, we be, I basically have added this dead load. Uh, you can say super impulse dead load and response spectrum X. So we will see the bending moment diagrams for the dead load first. Already it is open. So I will just take one particular end to demonstrate this, and the rest of the thing will be the same. So if I just take this end, so I am getting a hogging moment of negative minus 16.1827 so because this is a hogging moment that's why minus right for this is for dead load case now if i see the uh, you can say sidl which is the super impulse dead load so i am getting a value of hogging moment minus 19.1788 which is for sdl or super impulse dead load now, if I see a, uh, the response spectrum case RSX, so here what happened for RSX, I am getting a sagging value because obviously it is giving us my, giving us the absolute value. So it is a positive moment and the value of positive moment, if I just see this in this end, it is around, let me just remove this. So it is around 76.3817. So I will write it as positive 76.3. Uh, how much it was? 3817, right? Yeah, 3817. 817. So this is for response spectrum case. Two negative values and one positive value for individual cases. Now we will go to the go back to the uh, combination and first we will see the maximum what we are getting so basically when we are seeing maximum rest uh, what etabs is doing etabs is adding all these things sdl plus response spectrum x with a factor because we have taken a factor 1.5 so multiplied by 1.5 so if i just add these uh, values Okay, if I just add these values, what we will be getting? So, if I, uh, sorry, yeah, fine. So, if I just add these values, we will be getting here, if you see, the hogging moment is minus 16.1827, okay minus 19.1788 and as it is plus we are doing okay so plus minus minus it will be and then plus 76.3817 which will be multiplied by 1.5 okay so this is my case one which etabs is doing Finally, what is the answer we are getting here? What is the answer we are getting here? So if I just do it, minus 16.1827 minus 19.1788 plus 76.3817 equal to 41.0202 multiplied by 1.5 so we are getting a value of plus 61.5303 plus means it should be sagging right so if i just see here what is the value we are getting so if you see here 61.85 it is showing nearby value which is 61 so hope you understand what it does it has added all the values now when we are seeing the minimum click on apply now what it is uh, it has uh, done actually so what it has done again let us see so it has done dead load plus total dead load minus response vector x so first it will do automatically so 
uh, that's why whenever you are uh, you can say uh, adding response spectrum uh, 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 you can say in the load combination of e tabs you do not have to provide any negative sign in front of the response spectrum because the software itself is capable of creating the plus and minus case within one particular case and giving you the uh, you can say design moment from the critical one so in this end for the plus one we got 61.5303 saggy now what if you do minus then what we will get so if i do minus then it will be uh, minus 16.1827 minus because these two will be plus these two are my only dead load right minus 19.1788 and again instead of plus now it will be minus 76.3817 right okay so what is the value that we will be getting now what is the value that we will be getting now so if i just see here so i will do uh minus 16.3817 one eight two seven minus nineteen point one seven eight eight minus seventy six point one three eight one seven if i do equal to hundred eleven point seven four three two multiplied by one point five so it is one sixty seven point if i just multiply this with one point five so ultimately i'm getting one sixty minus one sixty seven point six one Four eight, which is a hogging value so here also if you see here uh, in the diagram here also we are getting a uh, uh, value of uh, hogging moment and it is also of you can see 167.91 which is a closer value so 167 kilometer meter value we are getting correct so ETF itself is capable of doing these two actions maximum and minimum this that means plus rsx and minus rsx so in case of plus rxx uh, what will happen if the load is coming from this direction and if you see this then which end will be critical so if you see the response spectrum was like this the moment right and for the uh, you can say uh, for the you can say uh, dead load it was like this so when we will be doing plus then at this zone whatever response spectrum uh, you can say uh, values uh, moment values for response load case we have got that will be added with my dead load value and we will get a maximum moment in this case right but in the ends what will happen in the ends what will happen uh this will be reduced because this is a plus value this is a plus value this is a negative value okay so this hogging moments will be reduced when we'll be doing plus but when we'll be doing minus in this case hogging moment will be increased and sagging moment will be decreased so you can see here obviously sagging moment decreased and the hogging moment increased so two cases we will get two critical cases one is for sagging one is for hogging so this is how etabs has solved this particular problem you do not have to do this thing uh, manually right so that's why whenever you are defining any uh, uh, you can say combination in e tabs with response spectrum load case you do not have to add any negative sign in the load combination because e tabs itself is capable of doing this plus minus and giving you the critical combination or critical value for the design of the particular member okay so this is it i hope you have understood uh, how the response spectrum case in a, in a particular combination works though when you are seeing the individual uh, you can say uh, uh, analysis result you will not see this because uh, only in combination it is possible right so individual uh, uh, cases if you see the bending moment diagram it will be the positive values only for response spectrum case because this is what we expect to get from the response spectrum analysis okay so this is it for this lesson i hope it will uh, help you to understand the conceptual uh, the concept behind the response spectrum uh, uh, you can say load and uh, 
the combination made up of Prisma spectrum case. And uh, if you have any doubt, you can always write me in the uh, comment. And those who are connected with me in different uh, social media platforms like LinkedIn, WhatsApp, or Telegram, you can always write me in the uh, chat also. I will try to solve your doubts as soon as possible. Thank you and see you in the next lecture.